Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com and today I'm partnering with Name Hero Web Hosting to bring you this guide on IMAP versus POP3. And if you're scratching your head right now, no worries. This detailed guide will hopefully answer all of your questions. Now, real quick before we get started, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Helps me bring you more resources and it keeps you up to date with all of the WordPress and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. Also, as we're going through this video, I highly recommend checking out Name Hero's blog post on the topic. I've linked to it in the video description below, but this is a great resource to reference as you're watching this tutorial. All right, with that being said, let's get started. So have you ever found yourself setting up an email account and suddenly you're knee deep in confusing jargon like IMAP, POP3, and SMTP? Well, you're not alone. Today, we're simplifying those terms and helping you make the best choice for managing your emails. So let's dive in. First up, let's talk SMTP, or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Think of this as the send button for your emails. It's what helps your message journey from your outbox to the recipient's inbox. But when it comes to receiving emails, that's where IMAP and POP3 come in. They're like the postal service of the internet, but with very different ways of handling your email. IMAP, or Internet Message Access Protocol, keeps all of your emails on the server. This means you can access your inbox from any device, anywhere, and everything stays in sync. POP3, or Post Office Protocol, takes a different approach. It downloads emails to a single device and usually deletes them from the server. This is great for privacy, but not so much for accessibility across multiple devices. So should you use IMAP or POP3? If you're constantly on the move and you use multiple devices to check your emails, IMAP is probably your best friend. For those who prefer keeping their emails stored locally and aren't worried about syncing across devices, POP3 might be the way to go. Now, a quick note for Gmail users. Gmail uses IMAP by default to keep your inbox synced across all devices. But if you're set on POP3, don't worry, you could switch to it in your Gmail settings. And a quick note for Gmail users. Gmail uses IMAP by default to keep your inbox synced across all devices. But if you're set on POP3, don't worry, you could switch to it in your Gmail settings. Simply click the gear icon in the upper right corner of your Gmail inbox. Then from here, click on the forwarding and pop slash IMAP tab. And then this is where you can configure your pop and IMAP settings for your Gmail account. Also, if you make any changes, don't forget to click the save changes button. Setting up email for your business. IMAP offers reliability and seamlessly syncs across multiple devices. This is crucial for Teams. POP3, on the other hand, with its local download feature, can be ideal for businesses with specific compliance or backup needs. So what's right for you? Choosing between IMAP and POP3 depends on your specific needs, whether it's personal use, a small startup, or a growing business. Understanding these protocols can help you make an informed decision. All right, so that's a wrap on today's quick guide on IMAP and POP3. I hope you found it helpful, but as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Name Hero's tech support or leave a comment below. We're always happy to help you out.